Let's now derive what is perhaps the most important insight about optical depth, and that is the, the optical depth is equal to the mean free path of the photon. Where we want to show that optical depth equal to one means exactly one photon mean free path. So essentially, what we want to show is that tau, which is equal to the integral of uh, kappa rho in length, if you do this integral from zero to one mean free path, let's call it MFP, it's going to be equal to one. Well, let's use a probabilistic approach. Let's say that the average optical depth over which a photon travels before being absorbed can be given a probabilistic distribution. The average of a quantity is the integral of a quantity times the probability of that quantity, the probability distribution of that quantity over all of the range. And apply this definition to optical depth. So this is the definition of an average. Well, let's apply this to optical depth. That means that the average of the optical depth is going to be the integral of the optical depth and the distribution of probability. Now, uh, the whole range is from zero to infinity because optical depth, by definition, a positive definite quantity. So P, this probability, then, is the probability of the photon being absorbed in an interval. P tau d tau is uh, the probability of absorption in the interval between tau and tau plus d tau after the photon traveled from zero to tau. So the probability p tau is the probability of the photon being absorbed. The probability p tau times d tau is the probability of being absorbed in the little interval d tau after having traveled from zero to tau. So in other words, it is the probability of not being absorbed from zero to tau and being absorbed in d tau, in the length d tau. Right, so if we frame this in terms of a product, call the first probability P1 and the second probability P2. So let's now construct a mathematical form for the probability of absorption. Um, this form must be zero if there is no absorption, and it must be one if there is absorption. So the following function would be appropriate it's delta i over the original intensity. It has the desired properties. If there is no absorption, that means that delta i is equal to zero. The intensity didn't change, so the probability is equal to zero. If there is complete absorption, then delta i is going to be equal to the original intensity now minus zero. So that's delta i, and therefore the probability is going to be equal to one. So this is a linear probability that goes from zero to one as you pass from non-absorption to 100% absorption. So we can also write this probability as then the original intensity minus the final intensity, where I not, so that's one minus the final intensity over the original intensity. So remember, we call the P1 the probability of the photon not being absorbed. If P is the probability of absorption, then P1 must be equal to 1 minus P, which is then simply I over I naught. And because of the phenomenological law of absorption, this is simply the exponential minus tau. So we found P1. Now, let's think about P2. P2 was the probability that the photon is absorbed within the interval d tau. That means that it is, it is delta I over I, over the infinitesimal interval d tau. So that's simply the infinitesimal change in intensity over the original intensity. And again, from the absorption law, di is equal to minus the original intensity times the infinitesimal of topical depth. So keeping the probability constant, we take the modulus of that, and that's simply d tau. So that means that the total probability p1, p2, is equal to exponential minus tau times d tau. So that is the total probability of the photon not being absorbed from zero to tau and then getting absorbed 
in the interval d tau. So if we go back to the definition of the average with p tau, with uh, the probability tau d tau as we just defined, then we can evaluate this integral. That's a simple integral to evaluate. It is minus one plus tau exponential minus tau from zero to infinity, which is equal then to zero plus exponential of zero, which is equal to one. So there we found it. Now, how do we interpret this? We arrived at the condition that we wanted to prove. The average optical depth traveled before being absorbed is tau equal one. And that corresponds then to the mean free path of the photon. Now, notice that if you have an, uh, a homoge uh, homogeneous material, then kappa rho equal constant, then you can write that tau equal one is equal to the integral from zero to the mean free path of kappa rho ds. And that becomes simply kappa rho times the mean free path. So the mean free path itself can be written as one over kappa rho, that's a very enlightening relation. The absorption coefficient, kappa rho, is the inverse of the mean free path. 